Oh, finally, I'm starving. Um, a human. A cute human. Why? <laughs> what are you doing here in my cave? This is no place for humans. It's incredibly dangerous. You're spelunking? What is spelunking? Oh, exploring caves. Well, that's a dangerous hobby if I've ever heard one. First of all, you must have just had a real scary fall if you're here now in my web. You missed all the other webs. So if it weren't for this web catching you, you might be in pretty bad shape right now. And second, what if I were some sort of human-eating predator? You really lucked out. Are you alright? Did you hit anything during your fall? You feel fine, but you can't move. Well, that's actually probably fine. You can't move because you're stuck in my web. Oh, you're shaking. That's... Relax. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. I don't eat humans. Here, I'm gonna get you out of that web. First, let me... Cut you out of the web. Just sit still, it's okay. You're okay. Alright. Now we just have to get the web off of the back of you. Steady yourself by leaning on me. Like that. And let me just get this stuff off of you. Okay. You look good as new. So, you're alright then. Nothing broken. Good. You had me worried. Now, uh, what am I going to do with you? Relax. Don't worry. I'll get you back up there. I'm just thinking of how... See, the only exit is above us. There's no real path upward that would be appropriate for a human. I can climb up there no problem, but even though I'm pretty strong, it's really not safe for me to do that alone while carrying something large or heavy, like a human. You might get bumped up against a rock or something. And you look, uh, well, you, you humans are generally kind of soft. Well, tell you what, I've got a spider friend who will be visiting tomorrow. Once he's here, we can work together to safely bring you back up there. That's what we've done previously with, like, couches and stuff, and that's worked pretty well. must sound pretty strange. Yeah. Yeah, I said couches. Okay. Follow me. This is, this is gonna blow your mind. Here. Come here. Just around this corner. It's okay. Just, just come along. Ta-da. <laughs> yep, it's basically a fully furnished apartment. I live here. Hardwood floors, laptop, queen-sized bed, working electricity even. I've made a pretty project of this place. <laughs> you look shocked. Yeah, it's, it's pretty strange, I know. <laughs> but I find that it's a comfortable way to live. Yep, take it all in. Why don't I just sleep in a web? That's your first question after seeing all this? <laughs> well, 
I find that human bed is just more comfortable. I think it's analogous to hammocks. Have you slept in a hammock? It can be nice now and then, but ultimately I prefer a bed. I never introduced myself. My name is Astrid. As you can see, I look sort of human, but I'm really more of a spider. The giveaways are the extra eyes and the fact that I can make web. Yep. Four eyes. All the better to see you with my pretty, or whatever that line is, you know, from Little Red Riding Hood. It doesn't matter. Um, I am actually pretty hungry. Would you give me just a minute? I've got some pizza rolls somewhere. Ah, here we are. Um, do you want any? No. Okay, I guess that's good. I'm getting a bit low on food, which is why when I heard something fall into that web, I was really hoping they were going to be prey. But it's okay. I'll go stock up tomorrow. Oh. This box is empty. Well, uh, it'll be alright for the night. It's, uh, it's pretty late already. Do you usually splunk at this hour? Mmm, you're just about to finish. Well, I don't know about you, but it's well past my bedtime. And if you're going to be spending the night here, we may as well figure out our sleeping arrangement. I don't get cold, and I don't ever entertain humans here, so unfortunately, I don't have any blankets. There's a set of sheets on the bed, but those are thin and are just to, like, keep the mattress clean. And it does get fairly cold out here, so we'll need to keep you warm somehow. Hmm. I have a proposal that may sound strange. I could use my web to cover you, and by covering you completely, I guess with the exception of your head, uh, the web can keep you warm. It would actually be quite comfortable, like a silk blanket. The only thing is, to avoid it getting tangled or balled up on itself, I think we're going to need to stick the ends of the web to the bed, uh, which is going to restrain you. Oh. Would that be alright? Yes. Oh. Honestly, I thought you might take some issue with it. Oh, I'd understand if you were alarmed. <laughs> this is a pretty strange situation that you found yourself in. And you don't have much reason to trust me. Good point. If I was going to harm you, I could have done it when you were in my web the first time. You're a smart one. Oh, and I have kind eyes. Really? All four of them? You're precious. Thank you. Okay, come here to the bed. Go ahead and lay down in whatever position is comfortable. Yes, my bed is pretty soft. I'm quite happy with it. All right, are you comfortable? Here are a few pillows. You can put those however you'd like. Great. So, have you ever taped a banana to a wall? Probably not. But anyway, picture doing that. That's my plan here. I can make parts of each strand silky 
and other parts sticky. So the parts that will be touching you will just be smooth and soft. And it really will feel just like a silk blanket. In fact, my web is silk, so it will almost literally be a silk blanket. And then the parts that won't touch you, I'll make sticky, and those will stick to the bed. I'm going to try to tuck you in with each strand also to conserve heat better. It really will be like taping a banana to a wall. Oh, and if there's any sort of emergency, or if you just want out for whatever reason, I can get you out of the web in just seconds. You probably weren't able to see me before when I was getting you out of the web, but look, I've got these fangs. They're sharper than razors, and I'm adept at using them to make quick work of my webs. So, this is perfectly safe, and you have nothing to worry about. Okay, cute human. Are you ready? Alright, I'm going to start covering you. I'll start by putting strands sparsely across your body, and I'll gradually increase the density. This will lead to the final result having a cleaner and stronger structure. Trust me, I'm an expert at covering things in web. I'll start with a few in your shoulders. Then a few at your chest. Now your stomach. And then your waist. And your thighs. Your knees. shins, and finally your feet. Okay, so that's the first pass. How much can you move? Go ahead and try wiggling. So you can still move just a little. After another couple passes, you won't really be able to move anymore. Are you still alright? Should I continue? Okay, good. I'll start again at your upper torso. Just keep holding still like you are. You're doing a good job. I can actually do this very quickly, but I think you would find that pretty distressing. Because I mostly do that to trap prey. 
So let's keep this nice and slow. Calm and gentle. Just continuing across your body. So, yeah, as you saw, the big hole you fell down is pretty near the cave's entrance. So I often catch, like, deer or rodents. Truly, it's mostly bugs, but I'm not really partial to bugs. And apparently, sometimes I catch humans, but I don't eat humans. Typically. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Bad joke. No. I, I don't eat humans ever. There's nothing to worry about. a bit more, and we'll see where we're at. Okay, that's two more passes. So, try score. Are you trying? Oh, you are? Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess you can't move then. <laughs> That's just how this stuff works. Even though each individual strand isn't really tight and doesn't hold you much, when there's a bunch of them, that all adds up. It feels nice though, right? Thank you, human. Yeah, it's kind of like you're swaddled in a tight silk blanket. It'll feel even better when you're fully covered. Then it'll really feel like a blanket. And you don't feel any of the sticky parts of the web, right? you listen to podcasts. You probably saw my laptop and microphone. I do an amateur podcast with some friends every once in a while. It's called ArachnaCast. We talk about, you know, web building designs and techniques, uh, spider nutrition, you know, spider stuff. It doesn't get much attention, but we have fun with it. If you're interested, I'll give you some info about it in the morning. One thing that we should be conscious of is your circulation and breathing. In theory, if this stuff was on you too tight, it could cause issues with your circulation or could make it difficult to breathe since your chest could have trouble moving up and down. 
but I know what I'm doing. So I'll avoid both of those problems. Now, this won't happen, but if you were experiencing any issues, you could simply tell me, and I'd get you out of there in no time. Feel free to relax, cutie. You're safe. We'll get you out of here in the morning. I hope you'll be more careful in the future if you choose to continue spelunking. At the very least, use proper climbing equipment so you don't fall. And watch out for webs. Other spiders might not be as friendly as I am. Okay, we're nearly done. See, we'll know we're done when I can't see any part of your body except for your head. A spider web actually has some interesting material properties. It can be pretty easy to cut, but quite difficult to stretch. So when you're wrapped up in it, it's virtually impossible to break free. But you have nothing to worry about because I'm here. I can get the last one. Okay. You're fully covered now, except for your head. Now you definitely, definitely can't move. <laughs> this is a rare experience for humans, so please enjoy it. The hugging silk of my web, but you are not in any danger. You are perfectly safe tonight under my protection. Anything that tries to bother us would get caught in my webs. Oh, and you can still breathe fine. Now that you're all tucked in, I'm going to get to bed as well. This bed is a queen, so there's plenty of room for me. But I can also sleep on a web. Do you have a preference? Oh. I was hoping you would say that. I'd like to sleep on the bed, too. This is also nice, because I'll be really close to you, in 
case you need me for something. <sighs> okay. So soft. Remember, if you need anything, you can just let me know. It's no problem. Actually, a, a good idea. It might provide you with a little extra warmth. Okay, sure. I'll just put this arm over you. And hold you like this. Does that feel good? You smell delicious. Sorry. Uh, don't read into that. I'm fine. I'm just going to be dreaming of food, is all. But you know what? It'll make my next meal all the more satisfying. safe and sound, so please rest easy. I bet you'll enter a real deep sleep since you're being held so fully. Pleasant dreams human.